What if I told you there was a theory for what happened to your phones this morning at 4 o'clock and it was pretty nefarious? The theory goes that there was a corrupted file that was added into the AT&T update that took over at 4 o'clock this morning. You see, the updates go into servers way before they're meant to update, that way they automatically update. What if that line of code was actually phishing software? You see, AT&T was directly affected, but there were a lot of other phones that were connected that don't have any attachment to AT&T. What if every time your phone was on roaming, you connected to an AT&T tower with this update, or every time that you use a business's Wi-Fi that was mobile Wi-Fi that was connected to the tower, then your phone automatically received this line of code. Then whoever put the line of code in, put the kill switch in. It blocked the mobile reception from your phone so it looked like there was no service. You see, that would help explain why two people on the same plan, one will have service and one won't, even though they have the same phone company and it's not AT&T. Then it goes on to explain that once AT&T claims that they fixed the problem, they removed the code, the damage has already been done. That code has already been put into your phone. Now that you got your phone back, you're going to log into your bank account first. You're going to log into your Facebook. You're going to go check your TikToks. You're going to check all your stuff to make sure everything's still secure. That's when this line of code gets active. Remember, you hooked to the tower that had it. And now it's in your phone. You can't get rid of it. Every keystroke you enter is getting sent to a server. Your information's being stolen. That's just a theory that's going around, but it does oddly make sense why uh, an AT&T issue is affecting multiple other phone carriers. So now I want your opinion. Could it have just been a random server error? Or is this the largest and most elaborate heist the world has ever seen? Because I promise you, when your phones came back up, at least half of you all checked your bank account first.